Okay, so this is take three of me trying to film this fracking video. So this is gonna be another story time, except for this time I'm actually collabing with one of my really good friends here on YouTube. Her name is Kim, and I'll have her channel right here so you guys can look up her and her video on this situation, because unfortunately, this was a situation that we both went through, and... A lot of you guys say that me and her look alike, which is actually cool because I can cons consider her to be like one of my sisters here on YouTube. So we like to, you know, talk shit about the shit with each other on the side because so many things happen on YouTube behind the scenes that people don't really know about. And I'm about to just start putting bitches on blast because I don't give a fuck. Like, I'm here to please, please nobody, nobody but my, but damn, my self. damn self. And you guys and to keep you all entertained. If I lose people through me being honest and telling you guys what's going on in my life, then okay. I feel really bad um, because I was asked to join this group that I'm going to be telling you about. But at the same time, I don't like getting fucked over. And I feel like in the long run, that's what would have happened. To go along with my other shitty ass stories that I've told you, let's get on with this one. So, I was contracted with Style Hall, which is a network here on YouTube that you guys probably know about. If you don't, you should look up some videos because some people have really funny ones about how shitty they are. And I recently got out of that partnership with them, which was awesome. I was so excited. And to be completely honest, I'm excited to grow my channel and to evolve and for my channel to change completely on my own without the help of anyone else except for me and people who support me. And I don't need a network telling me like, oh, we'll do this and this and this for you. And then in the end, they're not helping you at all. One of my friends here on YouTube asked me to join this group. And pretty much this girl posted on Instagram saying, let me start by saying this is not a network and we're not trying to sell you anything. Can we move on? Okay. If that doesn't tell you what this video is about to be about, then I don't know what the fuck does. My friend asked me if I wanted to contact this girl. There was like a deadline. You had to fill out a questionnaire just telling about your channel and everything. It was supposedly just going to be a group that we collaborated with on ideas and concepts and were able to just kind of work with each other and grow and like support each other, which I thought was really cool. So they held a group meeting at the end of the week and it was so strange like I couldn't connect to it I've never seen Skype used in this manner ever like it was just so strange I made it into the group which they made it seem like it was a big deal like you had to be someone to get in this group some of the people had like a hundred and eighty thousand people and I'm like how, how did I make the cut with my seven thousand subscribers into this group where people have 180,000, like, how am I gonna help you? Besides just being supportive and knowing you and being nice, how am I really gonna help your channel to grow? Because I need to focus on advertising my channel because I'm way smaller than you. So I was like, I guess it's cool that they consider me to be like a real enough person on YouTube to be in this group. I was excited about it. So we're talking, 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 and I find out like there's two guys in the group. And I'm like, oh, like that's cool. And then I'm thinking, oh, they must do makeup too because I follow some guys who do makeup that are bomb. And I looked them up. One of them was like a comedian. People. So the girl tries to tell us how you need to be like mixed in with other people from other areas of YouTube. Mm. My beauty, lifestyle, fitness channel, why would someone who likes comedy want to come and watch me? Why would they want to come see a beauty video on my channel or a fitness video when they're expecting to get laughs? I don't know. So I was like, okay, I've never heard of like that take on things, but that's cool, I guess. Then there was a girl in the group. She didn't even have a YouTube channel. They talk about how there's going to be monthly meetings, there's going to be all this stuff, and how they're actually creating their own channel on YouTube for this group. So not only would we be contributing videos to our channel and working on the editing for that, but we would have had to been either sending them clips or sending videos to go to this other channel 
And that is where, when that channel started making money, the money from that channel would have been distributed out to us equally. Well, when you start talking about money... And you start fucking with my money... That's when things start getting fucked up in my head because I'm thinking, how am I getting fucked over? That if I am not the key person with this money, I'm getting fucked. That's what I'm thinking. I can't help it. That's just the way that I am. And they informed us that at our monthly meeting, they would go through on the bank account or whatever freaking account they were using and go through and like put it on the screen so that we all could see the money and then watch as they distribute it out. Things can be manipulated and edited on the internet. I mean, shit. People be getting catfished all the time. You could look one way on your YouTube channel and then be a bum-ass bitch on the street in real life. Like, I don't know you. I do not. Know you? So why would you be in charge of the funds that I'm making? Then they start talking about, well, we need to decide on an amount that we're all going to contribute to this group each month. <laughs> I'm sorry, but didn't your post say we are not a network and we are not trying to sell you anything? Come again? So it came to a very small amount, like $10. And I'm like, do you know what $10 in life could get me? My car's been costing $21 to fill up lately. 10 McChickens at McDonald's. $10 could buy me so much stuff. I'm in college. I have no job. I make no money off of my YouTube channel. Therefore, $10 is breaking the motherfucking bank for me. $10. This is $10. But I mean, if this was something that was worthwhile, then I would try to find a way to make it work. I was just stuck on the fact of why did you tell me that this was not a network and that they weren't trying to sell us anything? Because when you just said I had to pay $10 a month, that's what the fuck you just did. Just was like, I don't think I'm going to do it. And then I was talking to Kim about it and we both were on the same page of like, what the fuck is this? And then also I'm like, if somebody's in charge of this group, I expect them to be like top notch. Like you should have so many subscribers. Every video on your channel should have so many views. Your video quality should be awesome. Like there's just a bunch of things that I'm like, if I was willing to contribute money to this, like, that's what I would expect. And I get that they, we all were trying to grow, like, I, I understand that, but- You got me fucked up at the $10. So I messaged the girl, and I told her that I just had a bunch of questions about it, and that I wasn't comfortable about giving someone that I didn't know money every month. And then I was like, I'm just trying to make sure that you're not just using me to grow your channel and using my $10 to get there. So I was just like, these are my concerns, whatever. She sends me like just a bitch ass response back. And I was like, maybe she wasn't trying to be that way, but that's how it came off to me. And I also forwarded the messages to my friend. She saw them and said the same thing. And I was just like, I like, I'm legitimately asking a question, but pretty much what pissed me off about it is she tried to make it seem like I was wasting her time and effort and all of this stuff with me and that I needed to make a decision ASAP. As soon as I got that email, I'm like, let me just keep you hanging on by a thread and make sure to make my decision take quite a while so you can continue to waste your time, bitch. I sent a really nice email back telling Kim what I said and being like, if she has the nerve to respond back to me, I'm going to be like super irritated. And what does she do? She responds back to me. Ding, ding, bitch. Here's another message telling me how she hopes that I enjoy my time on YouTube. This camera overheats all the fracking time. That's how I know I got to keep my videos short. She ends up sending me another message telling me that she hopes that I enjoy life on YouTube. Blah, 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 blah. Trying to be fake nice to me. And then we get to the middle of the email and it says something about, oh, and by the way, since you had so many concerns about the pay, I handed that off to your friend because everybody seems to be more confident in her. So then I'm stuck with like, why would, if you created this group, why would you hand off that to my friend? Like, I'm confused because my friend didn't create this group. You did. I mean, my friend was telling me that you were the person making this that up. That would be like me walking up 
to some random person on the street be like, here's my wallet, watch it for me for the day. I ain't about that situationship life. So I took that upon myself to bail out. And pretty much, I guess, moral of the story, if you have a YouTube channel, do you boo. Don't give a fuck about what anybody else says about your channel, about anything. If you are doing what you enjoy and you have fun doing it and you do it for free, keep on keeping on because that's the best way to go.